Uh, so u equals, OK, again, let me just say this. I'm going to plug 2 pi into this second formula here. OK, so negative 3 f0 sine of 2 pi plus f0 2 pi minus 2 pi ends up being sine of 2 pi is 0, so it's 0. OK, so this is u of 0 is negative 3 f0 cos t plus f0 times negative 1. And so u prime at, so, sorry, back up. OK, so I evaluated this correctly. What I just wrote was wrong. Uh, this is u at 2 pi. OK, so that's the equations right. And what I said was right, but it's u of 2 pi. OK, u prime at 2 pi is negative 3 f0 cos of 2 pi minus f0. Cos of 2 pi is 1. Um, so what we get is negative 4 f0 there. OK. Um, so let's again solve for our um, constants. OK, so u of 2 pi is 0. u prime of 2 pi is negative 4 f0. u prime of 2 pi is negative 4 f0. OK, so we have that. Um, OK, so let's plug 2 pi into our last formula here. So we get u of 2 pi is f1 cos 2 pi plus f2 sine 2 pi, uh, which is f1. OK, sine of 2 pi is 0. And we're told that this is 0. So f1 is 0. And then u prime at t is, OK, so f1 is 0, so it's going to be f2 cos theta, I guess cos t. OK, and so u prime at 2 pi, according to this, should be f2 cos of 2 pi. OK, which is 1. So we get from here f2 equals negative 4 f0. So again, we got negative 4 f0 by plugging in the endpoint of the second formula. And we're solving for the initial conditions, or the beginning, the initial point on this interval by plugging 2 pi into this formula and its derivative, giving us this equation here, Okay, along with this one. So we have f2 is negative 4, f0. And then finally, we get, so I can erase this now. We get f1 was 0, and so we get negative 4 f0 sine t. And that is our solution. Let me make sure everything went OK. It did. Um, so I kind of rewrote it this way as well. So we have f0 t minus sine t. t is between 0 and pi. We have f0 times 2 pi minus t minus 3 sine t on uh, the interval from pi to 2 pi. And then for values bigger than 2 pi, we have negative 4 f0 sine of t for t bigger than 2 pi. OK, and that's the solution to our initial value problem. It's a forced. Uh,